The Sad Journey of the Soul. This is the second version of this one, I think. Peace came without warning on that even tide, a softness that told me I was still alone with my fears. Night was playing out scenes in starless skies, loneliness when there is nothing to confide. Has life really stood still through all these years? Will the new dream come as the old one dies? A corn dolly, gathering dust as it hung from above, last summer's memories fast fading from my mind, new ground that has been turned by ploughshare. There is a cold chill this spring from lost love, friends whose spirits now lie within the earth, their faces roam above and blindly stare. How quickly the gaiety vanished from those games, when hide come seek, his hope to ne'er be found. The ribbons from the maypole become the bonds. I watch as the wicker man burns in flames, feel my life disturbed by the closeness of the hound. Strange how a vacuum silences the melody in songs. Some say the songs are sad, and maybe that's true. The hand that I was dealt was badly played, in reaching out brought forth the very curse. Those who persuaded me to a distorted view, some madness in my mind, a brain decayed, a button should I need to call a nurse. Always offerings to blot out the pain. Can one live when truth still pushes like a shoot breaks out from the mind to crack the skull? Madness, madness, just the word with no refrain. Sometimes I wish to cut off life by the root. I was the sickness, the herd baying for the cull. I remember the first awakening, face clammy with sweat, my head caked with blood from the beating taken, where fists and boots had taken their revenge. Too late to wish now that she and I had never met. So many nights I hoped not to awaken. Survival came with spirits of the henge. There was strength in the stillness in the air. Ordering of events would be the timeline's futile task. It seemed the self, not understood, must move ahead, reaching through a different life of finding souls with care, walking through Anuin's gates where no one wore a mask. Yet, doubting still, had I crossed the river to the dead? May was cold that year. It was the solstice that brought the sun. I watched then as young birds sang and flew, sat in lush-flowered meadows where rabbits played, lambs left to graze alone, the mother's job now done. Lay in wheat fields and slept as poppies grew. It was the henge that healed old stones the past had laid.